Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Seth and welcome back to another video folks. Today I'm going to show you how to run through this labyrinth and in here you'll find about five loot drops which are definitely worth picking up. I'm going to show you everything you need to know how to get them and so this is what it looks like. I'm going to show you the GPS coordinates and map location for this particular labyrinth. It is located in the desert biome here on the Lost Island. So this is what it looks like from the outside. As you can see, it's kind of like a building in a cliff face. Uh, I'm going to show you the loot crits. They do spawn in the same location all the time. But let's do the map and GPS coordinates. The coordinates are 87.5 by 78.3. So we're going to go into ghost mode for now. And I'm going to show you that there are actually five loot crates here that you can find. And then I'm going to show you how to run this so that you pick them up every time. I'm going to show you all the possible spawn points. And most of them spawn in the exact same spot. Of course, we do get a bit of lag sometimes. So there's one right there, two, three, four. So that's four red loot crates and one yellow one below me. Now, this is a bit of a labyrinth style um, structure. So we have hidden doors, we have traps, stuff like that. I'm going to show you all that you need to know. There might be a case where, of course, we'll need to kill a couple of things, so keep that in mind. Now, um, we will potentially bump into Arthropleuras and Onik, um, but this is the entrance. So when you come into the entrance, basically from here, we're going to come all the way down this way, and we have two ways. So that is the exit, and that is the entrance itself into the cave or the maze, and right over here, there is a button. Uh, let me just find it. I know it's somewhere around here. Uh, for some odd reason, it's not showing up right now. And I wonder why. Um, hold on, let's see. I know it's somewhere here. <laughs> hold on. There it is. It's that right there. I knew it was there, so I wasn't probably looking at it the way I'm supposed to. So we just go in normally, follow this path, and we go down the steps. I'm going to load up my shotgun because we might need it. We try and stick to the sides here. Now, you want to jump these or, of course, you can use a crossbow with grappling hooks. You can grapple all the way across. That makes life that much more easier if you don't have anything high tech to get through it. And then we come to this section right here. So I'm going to take the right path. And again, I'm going to stick to the walls because there are pressure plates that do activate booby traps and this should take us to one of the first uh loot crates but we just follow this all the way around and we'll hear the buzzing eventually there it is now sometimes it's in this room sometimes it's in the previous room that we were in or other times of course we will find it and i'll show you in another location so this has three potential locations it can spawn in now if we go around this way this is just a like circle basically so it just brings us back to where we came from but there's also possibility it spawns in this corner right here so right there in front of us now of course we have two options we're going to take the right path we're going to go all the way around and you can see the stairs we're going to keep going straight uh, stick to the walls on one side or the other. We don't really want to activate the pressure plates. So that takes us back to where we were. Now, if we go back this way and we go all the way to the wall, so that's where it can spawn. Then we take a right here. We come over here to this location. And then we go down the steps. That takes us into the next level. So here we have two options. They both take the, take us to the exact same location. I'm going to stick to the left. So normally from here, what I do is I try and stick to the left. And just follow that around. And I'll show you what I mean that it brings us on to the same location. Uh, so both both options that we would have taken us will take us to a, ser, uh, a set of stairs. And so basically we came down this side, but we could have come to the other side if we went down the right path. But it'll bring us to this little altar here with the skeleton on it. So we're going to basically go down the left because that's where we'll come back out again. 
So once we come through this archway, that is towards the end. This way, we basically want to go all the way around. We seem to have triggered a trap right now. So let's go and deal with what we've just triggered. Now, this is why you want to bring a shotgun with you. It does help to have a synonotrops, synonotrops, synotrops, whatever it's called, uh, on your back because they do scare the bats off. And sometimes, as you can see, you do end up hitting the bats and they don't really take damage. So that is a bit annoying. So keep that in mind. Okay, we've got an Arthoplura. As you can see, there are traps here that will trigger and drop dinos on your head. So keep that in mind. There we go, that's one down. And we just have a Onyx to deal with. Let's quickly get you down. Now I'm using admin chits. Uh, of course, you can do this without it. So we're just going to stick to the left here. And this will bring us to a dead end right here. Now, this has a hidden button. It's this one right here. It's the one that's actually darker. It's the darker brick on the wall. That will open up the door right here to the right. And we just follow this path. And we just keep sticking to one side or the other. Uh, we don't really want to go down the middle of any corridor. You can see that there's a gate right there. The button for that is right here. We press it. We run through it. And that should take us into a large round room in it we have the next loot drop so we can pick this up and as you can see we get some good stuff out of it now i'll show you how to see that spot right there but this door will shut it is on a timer so let's have a look at it there we go again we're going to stick to the left side and just follow it around you do have poison darts you have grenades you have uh uh, smoke grenades coming on you. There's all sorts of things that you don't want to get hit by. So this is the third loot box, loot crate. And over here there is a room right here where I'm showing you where my crosshairs are. And that has a hidden button somewhere far away from it. I tend to forget where it is. Let's have a look, see if I can find it. Oh, there we go. I've triggered another trap. And that is my cinematrops basically or whatever that uh new creature is called scaring them off so this is where it comes in handy okay so let's try and deal with these bats for now just so they don't really uh complicate the video i mean they can't do anything to me but there we go we have some more bats so keep that in mind you do want to have some sort of a weapon with you, maybe a shield, maybe bring a pet to help you clear out these things if you want to. I think you could probably fit a Shadow Mate in most of the places here. So, of course, that would also mean you'll end up triggering quite a few of the traps if you do bring a pet. But as you saw there, some of them are quite easy to trigger anyways. So there is somewhere a button on this wall or one of these walls some here uh i'll know it when i find it i just don't remember where the location is let me just try and figure this one out so it's somewhere down this way i think i just can't remember where it is ah there it is so it's just right there it's got a handprint it's kind of obvious but yeah i did forget where it is that opens up this right here we have as you can see another loot drop so that is the fourth one I'm trying to get rid of that on it, but yeah, that is another loot drop. So I'm going to continue with this run. Well, oh, it's coming towards me. So I don't know where the pressure plate for these on are, but as you can see, it can be a bit painful trying to deal with them. Um, where are the other ones? So they're behind these pillars. There's one right there. And then there's two, three, right here. There we go. So you can go down this way if you want. I'm going to show you what happens if you do go down this way. Um, this takes us to one of the last loot crates, but there's also another way you can do this. Okay, those are grenades, so keep that in mind when you hear that noise. There we go. Just saw those. I did accidentally 
trigger a pressure plate. This is one way of getting to the end past this that you can jump. Uh, you will basically get to the yellow loot crate, but there's also another way of doing it if you cannot do this, if you don't have the gear to do it. So I'm going to show you how to do that as well. I'm going to go back on myself. Hold on a bit, getting confused here a bit. And just basically stick to the right because we came down this way through the left. So it brings us back on ourselves to where we were, where the hidden room was. This is the corridor with the red loot drop. And we're just basically going to go to the end of this room and follow the corridor to the left. Okay, we got that one scared. We don't really need to care about it. We're going to stick to the left. Actually, hold on a bit. Yeah, if we go to the left, this will take us to where that room was before, where I showed you that gate that I'll show you how to get to from the other side. Here, you can either try and jump on these if you want, or you can fly across, or you can grapple it. It's up to you. There are several ways of doing it. I would opt for the easier option if you can. Um, of course, always bring in a couple of grapples. You are allowed to use grappling hooks here. So that brings us back to this room here, which brings us back to this exit. We went down the left test time we're on. We're taking the right path, and I'm going to show you that you can actually grapple it. I'm going to use a grappling hook here. And it can grapple all the way across. This has like four places to jump on or four pillars to jump on. And it brings us down here. Um, you can go down the right side if you want. It still takes us to the same place. But I'm going to take the left side. So I'm going to predominantly stick to the left side. We can see some wings here for some Onik. Uh, we're going to have to deal with these. Okay, so they've been scared. Uh, that's why the cinema Trops is actually quite good in these kinds of caves. It does keep the Onyx off you, of course, um, unless his scream is on cooldown, but it does help, generally speaking. So you might want to bring one of these in with the ca in, in here with you in the cave. And again, we're going to take the left side. And just follow it all the way around. Get a couple of black spikes here. Now you can go down the right path, it brings us right down this way, but we know that this is the right way because we can see the blood splatters on the wall. So that's how I remember this one. There are darts shooting out of the walls. Nothing too bad to worry about, but yeah, just, again, we are going to go down this corridor. Actually, we'll take the left path, we'll stick to the left path. And this should bring us to this one. This is the corridor with the yellow loot drop which is the final one and this is the one that is actually towards the end of the run itself and if you go further down this corridor this is basically where you would have been if you jumped that so that basically is a bit of a shortcut and from here what we're looking for is a set of stairs that will take us back up and i have triggered another trap sometimes these things happen so you do want to pay attention to where you're stepping. Some of them are actually hard to detect anyways, so keep that in mind. Uh, obviously, your armor is going to take a beating if these Arthropleuros do manage to get to you. They do melt armor, so keep that in mind. And here at this end, so if you look to the wall, there's these praying people. That's where you want to go towards the exit. Um, this is basically where we kind of came from so just to kind of show you that and If we go down this way, this is where the end is so it'll be to the right So if we see steps, we know that we are coming to the exit of this run So this will bring us to what would look like a dead end, but there is a hidden button That will open up the hidden door. So it's right there we press this, and that's pretty much it. We came out, and I'll show you where this brings us out, and that is pretty much the end of this, and we've already picked up, or would have picked up, all five of the loot crates. So you can definitely run this and do this over and over again. This is definitely one of the best caves to farm, or labyrinths to farm for the loot crates. There's not a lot of bad stuff here. You can avoid most of the traps once you get used to them, and... 
I mean, you can do this really, really quickly. I do hope that this video was useful and informative. If you have enjoyed it, please don't forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself. And until next time, stay safe, folks.